Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very special day. Obviously, this is going to be a great deal bigger than it actually is. But of course, due to the, um, the problems that we've got, it's a lot smaller. But I think Louise and Lim have been very philosophical about it. And even so, it's been a very lovely day. I think we can agree. I was uh, in Shropshire doing the barbecue, sunny day, turning the sausages over. The, the virus is still in its back cave and Liam came up to the barbecue, a bit hesitant, <laughs> gulped and then he asked me, oh, can I have your permission to marry Louise? And one of the reasons I said yes was because of the way it's, he obviously is, look, looks after and cares for Louise. Um, so obvious and how Louise so obviously loves him, so I said yes. So Louise has grown from this really shy young girl to a lady full of confidence, determination and spirit. I think we'll all recognise that in her. And now she's married Liam and can start a family at some point and continue the circle of life. Liam Paul Benson, do you take Louise Elizabeth Hunter Hill to be your wedded wife, to share your life with her, to love her, honour her and care for her through all that the future may hold? I do. Louise Elizabeth Hunter Hill, do you take Liam Paul Benson to be your wedded husband, to share your life with him, to love him, honour him and care for him through all that the future may hold? I do. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Liam Paul Benson, do take thee, Louise Elizabeth Hunter Hill, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Louise Elizabeth Hunter Hill, do take thee, Liam Paul Benson, to be my lawful wedded husband. It therefore gives me the greatest pleasure to pronounce that you are now husband and wife together. Liam, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> I've known Liam for about 11 years now. He's asked me to talk about him today with all my heart. I can just say this, he's a great guy, handsome, brilliant, funny, smart. I can't read it right, what's it? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but no, he is all of those things. And, uh, he's such a great guy and, you know, honoured to call him my friend and uh, be here. Liam and I often, often meet in London, but on one of these, one of these uh, nights out, it was the, the first time Liam uh, told me about Lou. Liam doesn't stop talking about something he cares very much about. And even, I think it's only the first few dates they'd been on, and I could already tell Lou was someone special to, to Liam. And yeah, you could see it was gonna, gonna go on all the way, but it has. Yeah, so I wish you both a long, happy marriage together. I know you make each other happy, and Lou, everything he needs, just please um, try and look after him as he struggles to look after himself. <laughs> so. <laughs> When it comes to Louise, I've, I've got all the words to say in the world, I really do. I've never met anybody quite like her. <laughs> She's one of the most confident people that I've met and one of the strongest personalities that, that I've had the pleasure of meeting.
She's shown me so much importance, really, of the beauty of, of life, really. Um, you've have got such an overwhelming happiness to you. Um, and you just, you just got the biggest heart. And I'm so happy to have you, like, as my wife. And I can't wait to start a family. So thank you for coming here and witnessing the first chapter of Mr. and Mrs. L. Benson. So uh, yes.